What I find is that uh, in my personal and professional life, harmony seems to be what's missing um, as well. And, and in that regard, you know, I, I'd like to decompose um, the good life from a personal perspective from a personal perspective, from a relationship perspective actually, because we've already right. identified that relations are, relationships are critical. Right. And even though, you know, I mean we're all, probably all like this, right? We have, uh, there's little aspects of our relationships that, uh, uh, although small, um, uh, m maybe small, but could grow in, in, in impact in a negative way. Same way with the positives, right? And I want to I, I want to focus on emphasizing, you know, that's eradicating or remedying those those small those small things. Well, you know, there's, there's sort of a natural law: one good deed creates another, and one bad deed will create another bad. One bad situation, that deed is bad situation. Chances are, will result in another bad situation. Right. And one good, like you take a customer. You have a good one customer, good customer experience. Chances are it will create another good customer experience. Right. You have one bad customer. Customers had a bad experience. Will now look at you with such with a different filter and might actually contribute to another bad experience. Right. Right. So it's very difficult. So what you want to do is minimize the risk at, at, at all costs. Whenever you get it, like you get an employee, and, and they go to a company and they have a bad experience. I mean, they don't like their, their boss. Right. That one situation, or the next time the employee goes back in, God's going to be up. The boss is going to look at them with a bad, you know, with, with 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 a different filter, like, "Oh, you messed up yesterday." And very often, it's very tough to pull out of that cycle. Right? So the question is, if you want to get harmony, we have. This is where power comes. The the thinking powerfully comes in. How do I get out of the cycles? And the the second the second uh, step in the in this process, the first is a listening, but the second one is awareness. You figure out. Start becoming aware of what brings you more joy, right? And what, what is, is suffering, and then you move towards the joy and you start dropping the suffering away. And I'll get to that. But it's that awareness. Without the awareness, you're not there. Like if you take a company, business practice, you companies and organizations, when I tell companies and I do this, I'm very careful about okay, what's a what's the process here? Either it's in when I work with spectrophotometers, the whole ordering process with the, the Customer, the sales guys make the call, calls come in, and then how they process the order inside the company. Totally chaotic. Totally chaotic. It resulted in errors, resulted in cash flow problems, resulted in all kinds of problems. Right? Personal relationships are the same way. You got a job, you're working night shift. Oh my gosh, it's good for your career, but now what are the kids doing? Right? And the choices are then sometimes you have to make hard choices. Yeah. Job situations. And create more more situations that lead to harmony, and start minimizing situations. Like me, I, she you know had to change her diet. She was vegetarian before she met me, and now she's had to be non-vegetarian. I was eating a lot of meat and sweets, and I've reduced like, my my eating meat and sweets. Simple examples, but more harmony at home. Very personal. Very personal. Start minimizing. You said start minimizing. Start minimizing whatever is causing you pain and suffering and move, move towards joy and happiness. If it's personal, if it's business, stop doing things that are risky, that and have, have a possibility to enhance risk or cost. Move towards what, what can contribute towards productivity and but, profitability. Yeah, by focusing on the carrot, by focusing on the joy. Yeah, so but the, the first, the, the awareness comes in. The awareness has to be there, right? The awareness, okay. The awareness has to be there. And then you have to start making powerful choices.